Hey, what's up guys, Alex here, and what we're gonna talk about in this video is the math behind a parlay. How does a parlay work? When you place a parlay of two bets, how does it make sense, the odds you're getting? That's what we're gonna discuss in this video. So as an example, we're gonna use the most random parlay in the world, NHL Capitals plus 1.5 puck line, minus 275 odds on BetMGM. So we'll go to NHL and we'll go to Capitals. So we'll go to Capitals very briefly and then we'll go to plus 1.5. We'll add in the first leg, plus 1.5 minus 275. So we're getting both these bets from Odds Jam and we're gonna talk about the math. So we're gonna do a little bit of a crazy one. We're gonna do Capitals plus 1.5 minus 275 odds on BetMGM. And we're also going to do Washington football team plus 360 odds for NFL. So we have a little cross sport parlay. And I'll explain why I like this bet in a bit. But Washington, 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 this parlay minus 275 on the Capitals plus 1.5 minus uh, 275 odds in Washington football team versus the Packers plus 360 turns out to be plus 527 odds. So we're gonna explain why is this parlay plus 527 odds. Okay, so we'll place that bet, we'll throw 100 bucks on it, why not? Um, maybe we'll throw another 100 on it, why not? And we'll explain why we like this parlay in a second in the math behind it. So how does a parlay work? Okay, so when games are uncorrelated, like these two, the way that parlay math works is the sports book simply takes the implied probability they're giving you from the odds and they um, uh, multiply them together. So as an example, what you can do is you can just go to a parlay calculator right here and we could put in minus 275, our capitals like, plus 360 for the Redskins. And what you can see is the parlay turns out to be plus 527 odds, which is what we saw on MGM, right? we place this bet at plus 527 odds. Okay, so what's the math behind it? How does this work? So every odd has an associated implied probability. So we can go to odds converter and we can enter the odds of this parlay. Um, so the first odd is minus 275, right? So BetMGM is giving us minus 275 on the capitals plus 1.5 puck line, which is an implied probability or an implied win percentage of 73.33%. So let's make note of that number. So we have the Washington Capitals plus 1.5 and the implied probability on that is 0.733. So we have our first leg. 73.33% is the win percentage implied by BetMGM's odd, um, minus 275 on Capitals plus 1.5 puck line. Now, we also got plus 360 on the Washington football team, and that implies a win percentage of 21.74. So we'll add this to our little parlay calculator. So we have this, and this is 21.74. So 0.2174 is the win probability of the bet. So why is this important, right? Obviously, the Capitals winning has no effect on Washington football team winning on Sunday against the Packers. These bets are 100% uncorrelated. So what we can do is, um, let's increase the size on that so you can see it a bit better, is all that the sportsbook is doing is they are taking these win probabilities that they're already giving you in their odds and multiplying them together. So these bets are uncorrelated so according to BetMGM, the joint probability that the Capitals cover a 1.5 puck line and the Washington football team beats the Packers is 73.33% times 21.74%. So 15.941942%, right? This is the probability, according to BetMGM, that the Capitals plus 1.5 puck line hits and the Washington football team um, wins against the Packers on Sunday. So now what we have to do is do the opposite, right? What we did earlier was we converted an odd to a probability. 
Now what we have to do is convert a probability to an odd. So we're just converting it back. So now we have, according to BetMGM, the joint win probability. We're going to convert this number, this probability, back to an odd. So we'll go here. We'll go to the odds converter calculator and 15.941%. So the probability is 15.941%. And you can see here American odds plus 527, right? Which is exactly what we got on BetMGM, right? So all the sportsbook is doing is they're taking your bet, they're converting your bet to a probability, they're multiplying those probabilities together, and then converting that joint win probability of your bet that they're already giving you back to an odd. That is all a sportsbook is doing when they're giving you a parlay. So now let's talk about why do we like this parlay, Washington, Washington, that was not intentional, um, although I'm a fan of both teams since I'm from Virginia, is what we can do is we can go back to the arbitrage page and we'll explain this briefly. So Pinnacle Sportsbook, this column we have on Odds Jam, is the sharpest bookmaker in the world. They're, they are one of the most efficient betting markets in the world, right? So Pinnacle, they allow arbitrage betting. They allow very high betting limits, often up to a million dollars. It's a very sharp and efficient sportsbook. And what that means is their odds are very are a very good representation of um, uh, the fair win probability of a bet. So you can see here, we're betting $100 plus 527 odds. So our profit if we win is going to be 527.17. So this potential payout on BetMGM includes your initial stake of $100. So we're betting 100 to win 627.27, which includes our stake, or 527.27 of profit. So our profit if we win this bet is 527.27. So what we can do here is we can increase the size on this. So we're betting 100 to win 527 bucks and 27 cents. So why do we like this specific bet? We've explained this in other videos, but whenever arbitrage exists in sports betting, you know that there has to be a profitable bet, right? Sports books are not in the business of giving away free money. So we can see right here, if I had a Pinnacle account and I had a BetMGM account, I could ARB this specific wager and make a risk-free profit of 2.16%, right? That's how arbitrage betting works. All these sportsbooks want to be unique. They have different odds. All these sportsbooks have different odds. They want to be unique. They want to set their lines independently. So when line discrepancies exist, Oftentimes, you can bet both sides of a bet, like we see here, Capitals plus 1.5 and New Jersey Devils minus 1.5. You can bet both sides and lock in a risk-free profit if there is a line discrepancy, right? So Pinnacle is the sharpest sportsbook in the world, so I'm never going to get bet against Pinnacle. That will never happen in my life. And you can use this as information, right? Pinnacle has the Capitals plus 1.5 puck line, all the way down to minus 353, and we're able to get value at minus 275 on BetMGM. So if we click into this, we can see, where is it? Capitals plus 1.5, BetMGM is giving us minus 275 odds, minus 350 on Caesars, minus 330 on DraftKings, minus 410 on FanDuel, minus 353 on Pinnacle, minus 400 on PointsBet. Right, this minus 275 is an arb to Pinnacle, it's an arb to FanDuel, it's almost an arb to Caesars, and it's also an arb to Twin Spires. Like clearly, BetMGM is the outlier here with Capitals plus 1.5 puck line, minus 275 odds. So this is the side. This is the positive EV bet, the mathematically profitable bet. This is what we want to be on. So this is you know the profitable betting opportunity. So what we can do is we can put Pinnacle's market into a no vague fair odds calculator and remove the vague, which is what we've done in other videos. So minus 353 plus 308, minus 353 plus 308. And we can see that once you remove the vague from Pinnacle's market, the market of the sharpest sportsbook in the world, once you remove the vague, you have a fair, um, uh, you have fair odds of 317.93, negative 
317.93. And we're getting minus 275, which is obviously better for our, you know, for our for our first leg in our parlay. And minus 317.93 implies a win percentage of 76.07%. So all we're re- All we're doing is we're removing the juice from Pinnacle's market and then backing out a fair win probability. And what we can see here is that fair win probability is 76.07% according to Pinnacle. So according to Pinnacle, the zero vig line for, you know, our capital's plus 1.5 bet should be winning 76.07% of the time. Now we'll do the same thing for the Redskins game. And what we can do is we can scroll, 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 is we can see Pinnacle's market is plus 300, minus 356 for Washington football team versus the Packers. So we'll go to a Nova Gods calculator and put in the market, plus 300, minus 356. And what you can see is that, again, removing the juice from Pinnacle's market gives you plus 312.28, okay? So that is the fair win probability, according to Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world, which implies a win percentage of 24.26%. So 0.2426, and that's for Washington football team money line, right? So we bet a puck line and we bet a money line. So we'll increase the size on both of this. Now, like we said here, what the sportsbook is doing is they're just multiplying these probabilities together. These games are obviously uncorrelated. So our win probability for this bet, according to Pinnacle, once you remove the juice from the sportsbook market, is 7607 percent that's the win probability for caps plus 1.5 according to pinnacle and for washington football team it's 24.26 percent okay so we multiply those numbers together and we see that the win percentage for our bet according to pinnacle should be roughly 0.184 right so we're betting a hundred dollars to win 527 uh 27 as a part of this parlay and So this is our parlay, Washington football team plus, you know, caps, puck line. So we have that in. And now what we're going to do is calculate the expected value of our bet. So our loss percentage is obviously just one minus our win percentage. So this is the probability that either leg loses or both legs lose, right? So if... um, you know, we're expecting to win this bet only 18.4% of the time, but we're obviously getting pretty good odds, plus 527. So now what we can do is calculate the expected value of our bet, right? So if this formula is new to you, just follow along. We should be winning $527 in profit 18% of the time, right? So we bet $100 at plus 527 odds. So our profit is going to be 527 bucks if this bet is to hit. Um, and this win percentage, again, is just removing the juice from Pinnacle's lines, from the lines of the sharpest sports book. If you remove the juice, you multiply those probabilities together, we get a joint win probability for the Capitals puck line and Washington football team of 18.45%. So our estimation of our fair win probability is 18.45%. So 18% of the time, roughly, we're going to be winning 527 bucks, And the other 81.5% of the time, we're going to be losing our stake, which was $100. Or it was actually $200. But whatever. For the sake of example, $100. So you can see that the expected value of our bet, because both bets were mathematically profitable to the zero vig line from Pinnacle, the expected value of our bet is $15.76, right? So going through the formula, backing out your edge, your expected value as a sports better is pretty useful. And here's what we can see, 1576 is our expected value. Um, again, all you're doing with a parlay, all the sports book is doing is they're converting an odd, you know, like I believe BetMGM had minus 275 on the Capitals puck line. They're converting an odd, to a probability, they're multiplying those probabilities together, and then spitting out your parlay odds, right? And um, that's kind of the math behind looking at parlays, determining if they're profitable or not. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. Any questions about what sports books to get, anything at all, you can reach out to us at Odd Jam. Any questions about sports betting, whatever. Um, and thank you so much for your time. I hope you found this video informative.